like let, 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 let's be honest. Bitch, let's be I'm honest. not a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> you not, but a lot of there's some some are. of some of these ladies. We catfish, and you know we need some. We need to. We need to bring in some of our perfection through other means, other resources, you know. And when doing that, it's gonna attract certain men, you know. Right. And when that happens, he's gonna take that in, and that's what's gonna draw him. And he's gonna decide whether or not he's gonna pursue. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's important, okay? Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different because I am quite, eh, I am kind of going to let Kyle take over just because the topic that we're going to talk about today, I feel like, you know, I don't know. I just feel like he needs to just take over. I'll put my little input here and there. I'll sprinkle a little, um, you know, whatever. But I'm going to kind of let him just take over and I'm just going to ask him a few questions. He's probably going to ask me a few questions mm -hmm. and we're just going to kind of talk like that. This video this week is going to be really chill. We're going to, you know, address certain topics that need to be said. Yeah. Period. So, without further ado, Kyle, take it over. All I'm right. going to chill back here, guys. She's just going to do her thing and I'm, I'm going to do mine. So, um, what we're going to be talking about is dudes. So, um, yeah, they just be playing games and not just with women, but also with gay men. So first, Deja, I, I want to ask you, what's your type? That's the first question Tall, I want to Tall, dark, and handsome. Okay, y'all okay. know, y'all know. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go watch my relationship status video. I don't remember what the title of it was, but I'm going to link it somewhere around here. But make sure you guys check out that video where I actually talk about my type and my relationship status and uh, you know, nice stuff like that. But my relationship type is tall, dark, and handsome. And there you go. And what is yours? What, what, what is Kyle? What is Kyle like and guys? Like, what ideally, when you're out at the club, what kind of dude are you looking for? Like, are you looking for the guy that's on the dance floor sweating, dancing his heart out? Mm -hmm. Are you looking for the guy at the bar trying to pick up some girls? Or are you looking for the guy that's chilling in the cut, usually, you know, watching everything that's going on and just kind of scoping out the scene? What, what do you like? Okay. So for me, first off, I really like a man who's observant. Somebody who really likes to take in the room and likes, needs to feel comfortable in the environment he's in because he needs to feel like a man, Ooh. you know? So that's the first thing. And if he sees I don't have a drink, I want him to ask me, Period. do you want a drink? Period. That's the first thing. Do you want a drink? That's the best way to get... we not drinking cheap liquor either. Exactly. Period. That's the best way to get this talking. That's the first thing. Not just your looks you need to rely on, it's also your personality. You gotta be pretty in the inside too. So. That matters. Okay. That matters. Because that's what's going to set you apart from that other hoe. Period. Period. Okay, so let's talk about some real stuff right now mm -hmm. how do you feel about down low guys oh now before we <laughs> oh shit <laughs> now before we can even get into this conversation because this is such a sensitive topic mm -hmm. and you don't want to offend anyone um of course obviously on this platform mm -hmm. because this is something that millions of people are going to see mm -hmm. um I just want to state, guys, this is strictly our opinions um, on how we feel about this. You know, just because we have a certain opinion on something does not mean you have to agree with it. Exactly. Um, of course, we're not going to offend anyone, but I just had to make that little disclaimer before we get into this uh, subject because I, yeah, I got a lot to say about that. <laughs> Okay? okay, but go ahead, Kyle. Okay. What do you? What do you? How do you feel about that first? So how I feel about DL men in general is just I don't get it. Me either. I just don't get it because I don't understand why you feel the need that you have to suppress that side of you because you're already showing that you're incapable of being an adult because you are hiding shit from people and that's mad ratty to me and mad sketch and i don't want any part of that okay so i have a question when you mm -hmm. say 
people okay so what about for religious reasons so what if somebody family they come from a very religious mm -hmm. family and they are let me just use the like most extreme thing as possible mm -hmm. they um them coming out puts them at a risk of being you know shunned from the family disowned cut off financially or whatever you know mm -hmm. in that case like then what when your back is in a corner as a man then what do you do do you like do you expect a guy to openly communicate that when you guys first talk like hey i have um you know some family issues mm -hmm. like that it's just such a okay. sensitive subject so no no i totally understand and thank you for raising that question i think the the thing is is that we also have to take into account what men are capable of True. and the situations that they put people in when True. they are aggressive True. when they don't know the word no okay you know so when pe when men are able to express themselves they're more open to possibilities okay so when it comes to dl men the reason why i feel that i don't understand it but i do understand if there's a religious aspect or um a certain situation they're in where they need to feel the need that they need to keep themselves right. DL. Sorry guys. Um, that in a sense, whoa. <laughs> um, that in a sense I understand, but at the same time, you're an adult. Right. You should be able to make decisions for yourself. I totally agree. And be able to rock with it. And that's just called life, period. You learn from your mistakes and you learn from your experiences. Period. <laughs> like, period. That's all I gotta say to that. But there are different types of DL men in the gay world. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought yeah. it was just one there's, type of oh, no, 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 no. Let me tell you. So there's this app called Grinder. Oh. <clears throat> oh I heard of it, but I never really knew nothing about it. You know. Well, let me tell you. If you, if any of your mans know Grinder, then cut that shit off real quick. I'm uh, dead. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so there are DL men that will not have any pictures or anything on the app at all. There are men that will have their pictures, but they'll have like their abs or something like that, mm -hmm. or like like a little bit of the chin down and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they'll be telling you all this shit about them, but they'll be like, "I want to, I want to sleep with you, but I'm not going to send you my picture." And that's when you're like, "Okay." But how you do you know if? How do you know if, like, how do I know if you're not a freaking serial killer? That's what like, I'm saying. Like, and, and, like, I have so many guys messaging me being like, listen, I'm not in a relationship right now, but I have a husband. Exhibit A right here. Whoa. Yeah, you'll be adding it right here. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll be adding that in a little corner somewhere over here once yeah. I get those yeah. receipts. So those type of men exist and it's really, really bad, especially in the gay community because there's so many men that are very, very toxic in their masculinity that they actually love talking about hurting their partner rather than like sexually being about them and stuff like wow, that. Wow, I never knew that. It's really crazy. And like a lot of it is with DL men because they wow. don't feel comfortable with their sexuality they rather say i'ma beat this up rather than be like yo let's like do this and like let's rock with it together let's vibe right. you know they just like i'ma hit it and quit it and i'ma leave bitch like I'm and it's yeah. like there's that's there's that's times where i'm about that like i'm gonna be like come in my door hit and you out right if you, uh, like bye -bye. yeah like I, i'm not gonna say I don't I'm not about that but like at the same time like there's it's lit when I can have a conversation with somebody right you know hit it off smoke a blunt and then we do our shit and that's just that and that's period but there are people that will take advantage of you and listen there's people that weren't raised the same way as you right. so they don't know your shit you don't know their shit so you can't just automatically trust somebody okay you gotta feel someone out, get their energy, get their vibe before you really even commit to even getting with a DL dude. Like, or any dude and anybody in that matter. Like, I agree. That's just how it is. I'm going to say what I have to say about DL men. I Please. just think that it's just, it's not cool. Like, mm. and I'm not saying that it's not like everybody has to express their sexuality, especially men if they're not comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. But when you are 
pursuing relationships with women and men i feel like that that's when the problem um you know that's when a problem comes to place especially if you don't communicate that mm -hmm. it's like okay if you communicate to a woman you're seeing that okay hey it just so happened that i'm into dudes too mm -hmm. sometimes i sleep with dudes i like sleeping with girls as well i feel like that needs to be communicated if that's something that they feel comfortable with and you know allow them to make that choice and whether they want to put themselves in that position so that's why i like for me i just really can't stand for it only for those purposes not saying that everybody um needs to just come out openly with their sexuality because it's nobody else's business but you know your partner and whatever but it just comes when you try to pursue a woman that's when the issue comes in because it's just like you need to allow people and i and i feel like it's not only with like you know just download guys period i feel like with guys in general when it comes down to us women it's like guys have come with all of this shit and they don't even it's like sometimes they don't even say anything so it's just like okay you didn't give me an opportunity to decide if i even want to deal with you and your baggage you just come over here with the baggage and assume like you know and that's that it just all ties together where it's just like i feel like to be honest men have a hard time communicating the truth i don't know why it feels like it is for them it's easier for them to lie and i feel like lying i feel like lying is hard lying is a lot of work than rather than just telling the truth rather than just saying this is what it is and mm -hmm. this is just that like i feel like you have to put in so much work to lie mm -hmm. it's just like why do you i don't understand why guys like would rather put in that extra work to come up with lies and stories and just like when you can just say okay this is what it is this is my situation and like okay you decide if you're gonna stick around or you're not if not deuces i'm on to the next like you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so when it comes down to like dl i just really like that's just really where i stand with it i just feel like if that's something if you don't want everybody to know your sexual preference, but you still want to have it the best of both ways, guys always want to have it the best of both ways. Yeah, like, guys literally, are never satisfied, and that's literally, the thing you gotta know literally, about Literally, they are never satisfied. You're literally. always gonna be working. You're always gonna be working to get a man satisfied, and it's really, really tiring. I that's just, what it is because they don't put the same effort that you put. They never do. Period, and that's in both situations yeah. women and gay men yeah i can totally agree with that period um okay so what else is something that we okay so i want to kind of like make it a little bit funny <laughs> can you give me an example okay can you act like i'm a guy in a bar and you're trying to like pick up me like pick okay. me up. so like how would you how would how let's reenact that like how would we so for okay, me I'm the, in the club. so the thing is for me honestly since i'm more of a bottom okay okay can you explain that yeah, before totally. we go yeah before okay before we even get into that let can you explain the whole bottom and top thing okay, okay great yes. would love to okay so basically what a bottom is is that i am the receiver mm -hmm. basically and the top is the one who pitches. They're the one who is more of the dominant. Aggressive. aggressive. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the bottom is the more submissive. So mm -hmm. um, the way that I present myself in the world is I want to show that I'm a bottom so that it's easier for men to know what type of... Um, what what I'm selling basically. Okay. Um, because in the gay world, sex is really easy. It's it's really it's really not that hard. Like you, I don't even have to know your name. I don't even have to know your face. What your face looks like, and it's kind of scary that that's how. I was just about to ask you why my smoke is so weak. I was just literally about to ask you, is that scary? It's really scary actually, because it's so easy to deceive people. You know, you, there's so many diseases and everything out there, and like you could just lie about that shit, and it's crazy. But um, anyway, in a club setting, okay. for me, um, if I was trying to get with some man, trying to get his attention and stuff like that, first off, I'd be wearing my jock strap and I'd be j literally twerking like crazy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's the okay. first. Because by that point, I'd be fucked up. Like, let's, let's not even play. Like, I'm at the club. I'm having fun. All right? Let's not play. Um, 
And the dude would be, you know, he'd probably be trying to get up behind me and stuff like that. Okay. And stuff like that. And I would just be like dancing and shit. And I'd be like, what's good? What's good? <laughs> and then I'd be feeling what's back there. And I'd be like, ooh. <laughs> And I'd be like, so what's good? What's right. good? Like, and, okay. And he'd be trying to put his tongue down my throat and shit. And like, I'd be like, wait, 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 hold on. First off, the fuck is your name? <laughs> like, excuse me, sir, where my drink? That's the next thing. And let's go over here, sit down, have a conversation, and then we can proceed. Okay, so... Do you prefer to go to like gay bars or just like regular bars? Like, how do you oh, know? Wow. Okay, so mm -hmm. we totally just made this video about Kyle and you know exploring his sexuality, and I'm honestly here for it because you know you learn a bunch of different things about people, period. And this is one of my close friends, so it's mm -hmm. just like I'm really like getting to know him in front of you guys. So I just feel like that's no, just so fun. like yeah. it, it's fun, it's mm -hmm. fun. But, um, yeah, so this video, I don't even know what kind of narrative I tried to paint, like, in the beginning. But this is just basically me and you guys understanding Kyle and getting a little bit of an understanding of, like, the gay world. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, I think this is just so cool. I just had to, like, you know, yeah. throw my little two cents in there. But, um, okay, yeah, so, like, when you're out, what, would, what do you prefer? Okay. So what I prefer to do, first off, I love to go in groups. I love to go with friends because I feel more safe in yes. an environment where I I'm never with, went out by myself before. For real, like, for real. It's not safe. It's just not safe. So, um, and usually we pregame in always. Cause period. Who, 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 who doesn't pregame? I'm a pregame. Literally. And, and there's old and wrinkled. Literally. And there's always going to be men that will panic. When you're there, so why spend the money? Um, so we get there, we look in queue, and usually I go to bars. I love, I love bars. I love bars. Bars is where it's at. Clubs are cool, but like they be mad extra because the dancers be up on you because they're trying to hustle. And I like I get that. Do your hustle, do your thing. But bars are where it's at because you be you it's just, just do your social. shit. It's, it's just, just more, more social. You can like talk more like it's just i love going yeah, to bars i would rather real. go to a bar than a club any day don't get me wrong i love being a bad bitch in a club i gotta be in a section period but um i do love going to bars like my ideal date is like to the bar like let's go See, to the bar and shit like that like that's another difference i should preface that i'm talking about gay clubs i don't want to be at the gay club scene too much because that's where the they be mad extra but when I go out to straight bars and stuff like that with promoters and stuff like that and I have my girls and we going in for free doing our thing, it's fun. Right. It's okay. fun. It's so, fun. So, I definitely want to go to a gay bar one night, so I want you to take me. We going. <laughs> we going. <laughs> this going to be so much fun, guys. But, um, okay. Okay, I get that. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you're at a straight bar, how do mm -hmm. you know... I feel like they, they, oh, you know how they always say that gay guys always can spot a, another gay guy, whether he looks like ooh, you or not. Ooh, I got one for you. Okay, so I went out with some of my girls um, during the summer. We went to Avenue or something like that. And we were doing our thing and everything like that. And somehow I met this dude right. who was like, you hot. And I was like, really? And he was Straight like, like that. And I was already, you listen. You a little hottie. We had tequila that night. Period. We had tequila that night. And Period. the tequila was taken over. So, I pulled him into the bathroom. <laughs> and let's say my white pants were no longer white. Ooh. Let's just leave some crickets for that. <sighs> but yeah, okay. So, did you know if he was like... He told me that he liked both. He <laughs> was down for both. He wasn't out to nobody or anything like that and that was a situation of a dl dude like i mean right see and i and i wonder like does he openly commun just how he openly communicated that with you like does he openly communicate that with women because that's important. literally yeah no i actually agree with you because the thing is is that somehow i did get his number the next morning and everything and he was texting me but he was acting like he didn't know me but he was asking to hang out so i was like what is this shit? Like either you know me or you don't. Yeah. Which one is it? Like I literally left his. I didn't even save his number. Like to be honest. No need. So, 
I think that we have spoke on a lot of different topics today. I got to know Kyle a little bit more and I kind of got to know more information just about the gay world as like as a whole period. Um, now I want to close this video off with this whole Jeffree Star situation. Yeah. Crazy. Insane. The be between the baby mama, you know, pouring her heart out all over Instagram, which I personally wouldn't do myself, but it's just like, it's so embarrassing. Yeah, it's, like, it's embarrassing for everybody involved, to be honest. And the thing is, is once again, it goes back to just like DL men. And Jeffrey made so many claims of how many guys he's been with that are celebrities that we don't know about and we will probably, I mean, unless he says something, we'll probably never know about. But like there's so many DL men in every community, every race, like you don't know because the thing is, is that sexuality is fluid yeah like it yep. just is yes. we mammals at the end of the day and we got <laughs> and needs okay so and if you got a wop like <laughs> get down and use that shit like and get some bank from it get some coin like to be honest like okay so i don't really know much about jeffree star like okay. i know okay he does like makeup or whatever I'll, so since i was i used to be an avid fan of jeffrey before i actually did more digging into his past is he everything. a racist he's a motherfucking racist and okay, we'll be yeah. and we'll just keep it right there Canceled. um but he did he he makes good makeup i will not lie and so what happened was he had this ex-boyfriend that he was with for a while and everybody already speculated that it was just a money relationship. Okay. Okay. So like for clout? For, for like clout YouTube and, and everything. Stuff? Yeah. Because okay. um yeah. So now this new dude he's with, who's a B list ball player, um, <laughs> um he um I think he's using this as um a stunt? A stunt because this this dude is six seven, black, and it looks cute for right now. Especially since his new palette, the orgy palette, didn't do so hot. See, I did not even know that. I just seen like because he be promoting all this shit about his brand and everything, putting out weird ass fake apologies and shit like that, not yeah. taking accountability. <laughs> Bitch, who you trying to fool? Not me. Mm mm. Mm, not you. Not. I hope not you. Not this face right here. But I just can't. You just summed it up. No, you, it really is just that. Me? Now, it's just the baby mama. She went off, and like I, just don't I don't think that was a cute ass look because, mama, you look weak now. You, <laughs> you give him the motherfucking power because whether you or not whether so or not he weak. with Jeffrey Star, he making money, you and he looks so dumb right now. <laughs> Period. <laughs> All right. So she shouldn't have opened her mouth. I don't but think listen, she she's an adult, and <clears throat> we gonna leave it at that. Okay, guys. So that's it for today's video. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, and hit that thumbs up for this video. Also, I want you guys to comment down below any your opinions about the whole Jeffree Star situation, mm -hmm. your opinions about down low guys, your opinions about anything that we have talked about today because we are interested to see. And we will see you guys in our next video. <sighs>